Welcome to MS Update, the channel for all things motocross. From the latest news to exclusive content, we've got you covered. On paper, it would seem to be the same result that fans are accustomed to see. Hunter Lawrence got a bad start in Moto1, climbed to third in that race, and won the second Moto by more than 10 seconds to take his fourth consecutive overall win of the season. In reality, things were a little different this time because Lawrence also had a poor start to Moto2 and had to overcome a start of seventh. In Moto2, Lawrence assumed the lead at the halfway point and cruised to victory. Lawrence was penalized seven championship points but allowed to keep the victory because the penalty does not impact event results. Hampshire became one of the few riders to beat Lawrence this year in Moto1 and was third overall standings by climbing to seventh at the end of the second race. Lawrence and Hampshire's problems at the start of Moto2 were not unique. Jellex Swole fell to 20th and Deegan to 14th in early incidents after running so well in Moto1. Hampshire and Swole in Moto1. Hampshire and Swole initiated the crash when they got hooked together in front of the field. I think it sucks to be penalized, Hunter said. Apart from that, it was great. The track was wild. So many soft spots and really wild, but all good. Dude, don't crash for one and don't get muddy grip. On a track like today, nobody expected it to be wet. The second qualification, I bettered my time, but it was tricky. It's a good habit, I guess, winning Moto2. I'm stoked. This track was wild. This is the country club of motocross. Lawrence got hung up behind an incident in Moto1 for, for the fourth straight week. A pileup ahead of him occurred when Joe Shimoda, riding third at the time, fell and trapped Lauren. He dropped to 14th. Lawrence moved into the top 10 at the 4-minute mark and was 5th with 18 minutes to go after passing Maximus Volan. Lawrence stalled in 4th for most of the remainder of the moto and then began to charge on Jalex Swole in the closing minutes, closing the gap from nearly 10 seconds to 4. Lawrence made the pass for 3rd with 2 laps remaining to keep his perfect record of moto podium finishes alive. 